three, go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, me and Gio, we're gonna discuss a topic that is related to his previous video that has gone viral. Uh, I don't know if it's viral, but... <laughs> but popular, okay. So I just thought that I could tell a lot information about mm -hmm. Hiring a maid here in the Philippines since mm. I'm a Filipina <laughs> and <laughs> I know this sort of things. So, first, let's ask you what he said in the video. Uh, basically, I was just talking about how inexpensive, like hired help is everything from maids to massage to lawn care mm. to a, a cook. I mean, it's just. Uh, because the hour, you know, the, the wage here is so low that you can really pay. Mm. I mean, a lot of people make 300 pesos a day, um, as low as that. And um, yeah. I used to pay uh, the maid that I had come in the condo once a week, 500 pesos for about an hour and a half of work. And, and then I was actually told later, they're like, oh my God, you're overpaying her. Mm. I was like, 500 pesos, I'm overpaying her for, So yeah. basically you talk about how cheap it is to hire a maid here mm -hmm. so today yeah. i'm going to talk about the process and yeah. how to avoid getting scam or hiring the, the wrong person yeah in your household because even if it's very affordable to hire made here there are mm -hmm. lots of things that you need to consider for sure because these are like non-committed work. The things that you need to do when you hire a maid, mostly Filipino family, they would hire somebody that is known to their relatives. Right, right. Like for example, if they know somebody in, that is from the mountains, they will hire uh, mm -hmm. that family's daughter right. or aunt or grandmother. And of course, you need to, their, to know their characteristics. And also, you can ask for their barangay certificate to make sure that they mm. really live in that barangay and they have good record. And right. if they have birth certificate, they mm -hmm. have records, you can ask for police clearance and bank yeah. clearance to make sure that they don't have any criminal records because NBI and clearance. NBI clearance. Uh, yeah. Not everyone has birth certificate. Mostly yeah, a lot of Filipinos don't that yeah. yeah. Mostly Filipinos that work as a housekeeper don't have birth certificate. So what you can do is mm -hmm. get someone that is uh, known to your relatives or your, to your girlfriend. So make sure that they will not um, do something bad to you. Yeah, I have like for the people that are going to live in a condo, uh, for me, I was told by my real estate agent, she said, just ask one of the girls who works cleaning the condos, you know, like the mm -hmm. common areas, like yeah. the reception. And that's what I did. And so on her day off, she would come clean my condo. It was just a one bedroom and uh, she would clean it in I would sit on the couch and just read a book or something while she cleaned it. So I wasn't mm -hmm. ever worried about something being stolen. And she yeah. already had, I knew who it was. She worked for the condo. So basically if anything ever happened, like, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. a good way to do it. If yeah. you live in a condo. Yeah. I will not recommend looking for a maid on Facebook because everyone can comment and apply right. and you don't know where they are from what is, what's their background so many cases that people hire somebody from facebook and yeah they yeah. did something bad like one time i saw on facebook that there was a housekeeper that they hired from facebook mm -hmm. and she kidnapped the kid what the heck yes <laughs> she's a babysitter and she kidnapped the kid so these are the things that you need to Avoid hiring mm -hmm. somebody in the Facebook or any social media platform. And there are also agencies here in the Philippines where yeah. you can hire a maid 
or like what I said, you can ask somebody, a relatives or a, your Filipinas family, where yeah. can she, uh, where can you hire somebody to help you at in your house, things like this. Yeah. I think that is the safest way to hire a maid. Like I've noticed in like the expat Facebook groups, sometimes people will ask, hey, I'm looking for a maid. And some expats will say, oh, I had a maid for a year. She was mm -hmm. great, uh, but we don't, we, you know, we let her go because yeah. we don't need her anymore. Yeah. But you can contact her. So yeah. like recommendations. Yeah, and stuff. recommendations like that. Yeah. But you got different, you got the live-in ones and then you got the ones that would just come and Yes. What are the salary differences? The salary differences, I think it's uh, the same. But the thing about the, the non-stay at home mm -hmm. is that um, you need to give them transportation, transportation fee but uh, and their salary. While right. the live-in, you will pay for their needs for the food and toiletries and everything right what's, and that salary what's the difference i've always confused like i know a, a ya ya is when you have kids and they take care of the kids but i've also noticed like ya ya's will also do some cleaning and cooking and stuff too right yeah um is I, that a higher paying like a ya ya than a maid some a but mostly these are just the the people that have been exploited and um, they were doing a lot of work at home while taking care of the kid and doing the house chores and they still receive the same salary. So really they should be, be getting paid more if they're doing yes. cleaning and cooking. Yes. Should be a better salary. Yes, but yeah. depends also on you if you're okay with that. But, you know, because it's very yeah. poor here so um, it's very hard to find a job. So people would just like accept. Right, right. They just this, accept what they can get. Yeah, they accept what they can get as long as they earn so money. What's an average salary for a maid then? I think over the years it really improved because before you will receive 2,000 pesos. But now the maid has uh, lots of benefits they can have. Um, SSS, Pag Ibig, Feel Health. It is recommended to the employers mm. to provide this and together with their salary, at least 5,000 to 10,000 above. Right. Yeah. Before it was so low. It's How would a foreigner, like, it, let's say, because I don't think most foreigners would know, let's say they hire a maid. How, how, would, how would a foreigner pay her SSI and stuff? How, how would he do that? Um, you can pay online. Oh, you can? Yes. You, what you can do is you ask your housemaid to provide the documents like 2x2 uh, two two ID, oh, okay. um, IDs or birth certificate, and you will go to SSS. And what the good thing about SSS and PhilHealth and all these uh, government offices, they, all, they are already online, so you can pay them online oh, okay. every month. Oh. Okay. And it, you can deduct that. it in their salary. Yeah. So, like for example, if her salary is like mm. five thousand, and then you will deduct five hundred and put her put it in her SSS. Yeah. Or, and fill health so oh, okay. that she has something. There you go. I didn't know that. Legally, uh, you're supposed to pay that for the. Yes, legally. And if, like, for the example, your maid knows these things. She could report you. For not paying it or yes. something. Okay. So good to know if you're a foreigner coming out here, you got to make sure you yeah. know, follow the laws here. Yeah. Yes. But of course, not everyone knows these things. No. no. Not especially the Filipinos. Is this your channel or my channel? You're the one asking me questions. I was trying to bring up. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make conversation. <laughs> yeah, I think that are the things that you need to remember. To be safe, just hire somebody that uh, your your Filipino family knows. Don't hire someone that is online that you don't right. have any, any idea who this person is. It's very dangerous. It happens a lot here in the Philippines. Even Filipinos, yeah. they are very careful in hiring 
a, ho a housekeeper. Well, for example, like what if you went out one day and mm -hmm. you came back and you found all your all the stuff missing? What, what would you do? With that? Would you report them to the barangay or the police or both? Of course, you will report it in the police. Right, right. And if she's gone already, then you should report that in the police. But <laughs> I've heard of it happening to some foreigners. That's yeah, why I was curious. That's why some affluent Filipino family, some Filipino that can provide CCTV in their house, they put cameras yeah. in their house so that um, they can see what their yaya is doing to their kids, yeah, to yeah. the house, or what they're, um, if they are just sitting and using their phone all day and not right. doing their job. Hidden camera, better, so they don't Hidden know. Hidden cameras, yes. Because yeah. otherwise, she could just deny it and it would be your word yes. against her. Yeah. So, yeah. And they're probably going to believe a Filipino over the foreigner. Yeah. I want to talk about this also, about hiring a, a maid, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you're a married man. <laughs> <laughs> There's also something that you should consider when you mm -hmm. hire a maid when you are married. Mm -hmm. And I think this is important because this could cause jealousy towards your Filipina wife or girlfriend. <laughs> so I think... Uh, <laughs> I think it's better just to let... <laughs> okay, let me talk. Okay. I think you should hire somebody that is not old, but like right, in right. their... 40s, 30s. 40s, 50s, 60s. <laughs> oh, 60, that's a bit old to be. I mean... You know yeah. that Filipino women are jealous, right? Um, very jealous yeah. girls. So I think to avoid problems like this, you should hire somebody that is in, that is older, not younger. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I, personally, I would let you do the hiring. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, but. it happens a lot of times here in the Philippines that mm -hmm. Not even the foreigners, the mm -hmm. Filipino man was seduced yeah. by the yaya or the in, the guy yeah. seduced the yaya and there's an infidelity happening in the house. Oh, yeah. Yes, um, I mean, if you watch Rafi Tulfo, there is mm -hmm. a lot of, there are a lot of, yeah. yes, there are lots mm -hmm. of um, problems like this yeah. that in their household there's infidelity happening. I think this should be something that to be mm -hmm. avoided yeah absolutely even in the u.s uh, guys make jokes about you don't hire a young handsome pool guy yes. to clean your pool with yeah. your while you're while you're at work and your wife's at home mm -hmm. you know i mean i don't yeah, know yeah because um i don't know is there's something thrilling about uh, a housemaid and you the and you the boss you know, I mean, I'm talking about the kinky right. porn oh, well, yeah. mindset. They had, they, it just well, occur, yeah. the excitement. That's why they sell those costumes, yes. made costumes. And yes. There's an excitement with that. So, yeah. Just temptations. We're uniform only, type thing. Yeah. Yes, we're only human. So, I think if you want a lasting relationship, no drama with your Filipina, avoid mm -hmm. hiring younger. Maybe you could hire younger, but not pretty. <laughs> Ugly, like some a lot of scarring and stuff. So yeah, um, that's my last thought about hiring a maid. The thoughts? Yes. Thank you that. for sharing your your thoughts about this topic. If you have any thoughts about this topic, if you have. And ironically, before you finish, we will be going to a cafe where the Japanese girls are dressed up like maids. Yes. <laughs> That is something that you must watch. Yes. Okay, so yeah, if you have any thoughts about this video, please comment in the comment section down below. And if you want to support this channel, consider joining my Patreon account. I will link it in the description down below. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I make videos about Philippines, Filipina, dating a Filipina. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys again soon. Paalam!